Once you've created a design file and you're ready to send it to the device, you need to perform a send system config from the system connect window. If the system connect window is not open, but you are connected to the network, you can go file, network, send system configuration. You can also use the icon on the toolbar to accomplish this. When you attempt to send the configuration, you'll be informed that no serial number has been assigned to your design file yet. If we go to Tools, Equipment Table, we'll see that there is no serial number. We also get a message saying no units are available. This means there are no Nexia devices currently unassigned. There are none that are available to receive our programming. If we go File, network, perform Nexia device maintenance, or use the icon on the toolbar, we can go to the device maintenance screen. On the device maintenance screen, we can locate the device that we want to send our program to, and we'll see this device is listed as being part of system ID 1503581. As long as this device is in a system, it will not accept additional programming. So we need to clear this device before we're allowed to upload our program to it. That's done by simply selecting it and hitting Reset Initialize. We'll be warned that this cannot be undone. And the process is relatively quick. Once that device has been cleared, you'll see it listed as System ID 0. It no longer has any programming in it. It also no longer appears in the system list because it's not part of a system. If we go back to Tools, Equipment Table, we can click and select that device for our design file. Once that's done, File, Network, Send System Configuration. We're given an opportunity to change the configuration description label. If we hit OK, we get a progress bar at the bottom and the configuration is sent to the device. We have the opportunity to start the audio and we are now online controlling this device in real time with our program loaded to it. If we close this design file, and go back to Network Connect to Nexia System, we'll now see this device listed as being part of the system we just created. If we connect to that device, our design is pulled back off the device onto the computer. And again, we're now controlling this device live in real time.